Hey everybody, this is Jen from Garden Jen's Journey. It's a beautiful Sabbath day. It's the Sabbath um, uh, of the Passover weekend, and tomorrow we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Um, but today, today is the Sabbath, and we're just resting in His creation and enjoying uh, the things that He has provided. And so today I wanted to share my enjoyment of the garden and how it's going. Um, the things that are starting to grow, um, our chicks, how they're doing, and just the beautiful blessings that has been um, given to us since that's what I like to reflect on today. So I'm going to take you through and we'll do a walkthrough and I'll just show you how bountiful things are going and how uh, blessed we really are um, in this moment. So the first area I wanted to show you is this area that we're getting started with um, beds and things. Uh, we have potatoes that are planted in these buckets. They're covered by um, pallets so our chickens and our cats don't get into them. Uh, speaking of one, here's one right here. She's just getting over being uh, spayed. We spay all of our animals so they don't reproduce. Uh, as a responsible pet owner. We have uh, four outdoor cats that come out and keep uh, our moles and our voles and our mice uh, population down. But, uh, you know, they have to use the restroom, so we just make sure that they don't go in our garden area by covering them up. This is another thing uh, that's just a great uh, showcase of what the Lord has blessed us with. The pallets and the uh, containers that are uh, being held up by the pallets um, are all recycled materials free of charge to us. Um, so we have repurposed them to make uh, container beds for the garden. And this is just one. There's going to be at least uh, four more that my husband's going to be building. But um, the Lord really, really blessed us with these. And right now, I have this covered with a um, lightweight frost row cover. Um, it's to help protect the seedlings that I have in here against uh, heavy frost. And also to keep out our darling little cats. And uh, the chickens when they're out so they don't come in here and scratch and try to do what chickens do. So in this bed right now, I have strawberries spinach and a type of uh, green that's called aurora and uh, the color is actually a purple aurora because it's really pretty. I'll see if I can show it to you. All right. <laughs> well, so this is what our seedlings look like. Again, I have spinach here and here's some more and then that beautiful purple aurora. And then over here I have a uh, strawberries planted. They're just starting to bud up a little bit. But, uh, yeah, so that's what this container area looks like. I'm going to cover this back up. Another thing that uh, the Lord has really blessed us with is uh, new growth in the garden and uh, things greening up all around. Um, it's 5B Central Michigan here. And so it's been really cold and uh, Things have been slow to germinate, but uh, this is the time of year that now things start coming up, including our bulb plants. We have lilies and uh, daffodils, so they're really starting to perk up and show themselves, which is awesome. My rhubarb is really coming to life. And then um, over in the back, I have some wild sorrel that's really starting to come up. So excited about that. And then I have, uh, it's a sedum, I believe, right here. Beautiful sedum right there that's starting to come up. <coughs> My bee balm's coming back. And then over here in my, this is my medicinal herb bed. My bee balm's starting to come back. I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up or not, but it's starting to come back. And then my valerians come back. I got two, two bulbs so far that's come back. Yarrow, 
this is a pastel yarrow so this year being its second year I'm hoping I'll see flowers on it <clears throat> this is a pot of chamomile that keeps self seeding let's try and get where I'm not in the sun you can maybe see all those little sprouts in there <clears throat> then my chives this is white whorehound. I got some more yarrow there. This is blue hyssop. Look at all that brand new girl. Exciting. I have some more bee balm back there. And this is my giant sage. I haven't seen any new growth on it yet. But let's see if I move some things out of the way. Let's see if I can see anything in here yet. This one should grow because this is three years old. And it's got a beautiful root system. But, and just moving this stuff around, boy do I smell it. But no, I'm not seeing any new growth yet. But the uh, the stems are very pliable. Which means that the plant is still alive. It's just, this one hasn't quite started, decided to start growing yet. And then over here is my tansy. That's doing very good. This is the second year for this, so it should spread out quite nicely. I have some garlic that's popping up between those jugs over there. Some more garlic here. Under this container, I have a uh, container a pot that uh, those are all little baby carrots so they're starting to grow very excited I'm going to show you some of my sage plants that actually do have some growth on they're the younger ones they're only a year old they were planted last year you can see the growth starting on that all sorts of little growth there so yeah, sage, if you take care of it, it is a perennial. You just have to make sure that you cover the roots good enough where they survive. So that's everything that's growing there. And then uh, this is uh, another garlic bed. This is my main garlic bed where I actually purposely planted garlic to harvest this year. So I'm excited about seeing that. So yeah, the Lord has really, really, really blessed. And I'll show you something else. So much to share with you today um, just the blessings over here is where I started my staging area for the seedlings we're going to be selling for market and I just wanted to show you this see all these seedlings here these were all from those milk jugs that you see uh, back behind me and um, my broccoli, I have three trays of broccoli that came from one milk jug. These three trays here, they came from one milk jug. And then I have two trays of this kind of lettuce, they came from one milk jug. And I have a tray of this lettuce from one milk jug. So that is how the Lord is really, really, really blessed as far as uh, growing our seedlings for um, the garden and for market. I don't know if I can show them to you because they're kind of skittish. But these are our babies. <laughs> we got some there trying to show dominant or set dominance. Yep, these are the babies. Here they come. Isn't that buff one beautiful? Oh, she's like my favorite color. And then she's got a red sister. Uh, those are Arakanas. So we have a, a buff, two reds, and a black. And then we have three barred rocks. We lost one. I uh, got stuck in in the coop when it got frightened and we didn't know until it was too late and it had passed away and then uh, six of the big birds here those are Brahmas and show you Mr. Butterball out there he is the Brahma rooster with his hens um, those are all Isa Reds he's got two Brahma females somewhere uh, but uh, the Brahmas can get fairly large about 10 pounds nice sized birds very docile birds too um, this pen right now is is kind of in disarray as we're re 
a building. Uh, this used to be the duck pen. We don't have ducks anymore. It just the kind of ducks we had did not work for our homestead. So the duck run's been completely torn apart. This got made into a quarantine area so we can raise our little chicky chicks. You can see them all there, enjoying the sun. Um, but yeah, this is our chick brooding area for when they come out of the brooder. This is where they go next to grow into a, a good size before they get put with the rest of the flock. And then they'll go into the big pen. And usually we let our chickens out to free range uh, quite a bit during the year. But with my garden being open right now and things just starting to grow, uh, we're going to keep them in here for a couple days until my husband can get the bed, uh, the fence completely done for the for the garden so the chickens aren't in there. And then they'll be out free ranging again. But for now they're enjoying the, the sun and just being in here in this pen. And one thing about having them confined right now is because they're actually searching and tilling up the soil and the bedding in here, which is good because this is what we use to add more compost to the garden. So we do need them to be in here from time to time to till up all this, uh, the dirt and the, the bedding and uh, their feces and everything get all tilled in to make good soil. So they are confined um, on occasion, but they have plenty of room to just enjoy themselves. Okay, now that I've shown you what's growing in the ground, I'll show you what's growing in our jugs. I've been so excited on this winter sowing journey. I'm excited every year that I do it because to see baby sprouts growing in these funny looking containers is just, it's just awesome. It just shows that this process works and I really, really just get excited. I love seeing new life. So I'm going to show you quite a few jugs here because I'm a, I'm a happy seedling mama. So we have some cauliflower in here. Isn't that gorgeous? And got broccoli. This one doesn't have a lot of seedlings in it, but still quite a few seedlings. And then the Brussels. A lot of seedlings in there. Uh, let's see. Not all of these have sprouted yet. A lot of a lot of my stuff is warm weather crops so I would say right now about 50% of my jugs have seedlings in them because they're cooler weather crops the other 50% are warm weather crops so they're not going to sprout for about another month or so here's some more of Brussels sprouts all those seedlings my sage is just starting to sprout and I got some calendula it's starting to sprout. And let's see, marjoram. Marjoram's just starting to sprout. Look at those tiny babies in there. Let's see, what else do I have? Oh, cilantro. So this guy's starting to sprout. Beautiful seedlings. Parsley is just now starting to sprout. <clears throat> Been so excited about those things. And then uh, I had some lettuce that was taking a long time to sprout. I wasn't sure I was going to get any. And that would be my ruby red. There's like one sprout in there. Oh, there's a couple now. The ruby red wasn't doing too well. Hi, Tiny. This is our kitty kitty Tiny. He's such a good boy, but he's a brat too. <laughs> Here's some leeks. Let's see. This is one of those um, jugs that we transplanted. This is the oak leaf. And then the Four Seasons was the other one. Look at all those sprouts in there. And then my flame lettuce. It's starting to grow. The flame lettuce and the ruby red took a long time. And I'm wondering if the uh, darker colored plants sometimes take longer to grow. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna keep a journal and we'll find out. My flax is starting to sprout. I've never grown flax before, so that's cool. <clears throat> Here's some kohlrabi. This is purple Vienna. <clears throat> and then we have some Napa cabbage. Let's see what else. Oh, some regular round-headed cabbage. This is Danish ball head. Let's see what else, what else. Oh, got lots of stuff. Oh, red mammoth cabbage. Got some sprouts. Not a lot. But look at these carrots. 
These are Danver half longs. I do have a variety of sunflowers that's starting to grow. This is sunrise. My mammoth and my Mongolian giant have not started to grow yet. So I'm guessing they're warmer weather. I don't know if I can show them to you or not because they are teeny tiny. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to show them to you, but my Utah celery just sprouted. <clears throat> so I was excited. When I see those things just starting to push out of the ground, it's like, woo! <laughs> so excited. <clears throat> and chrysanthemums. Look at those chrysanthemums. Yeah. <clears throat> so my snow peas are just starting to wake up. I have some other peas I'll show you in just a minute. My dino kale is a little behind this year. Not sure what's going on there, but it's coming. It's just really, really behind. My mustard, on the other hand, look at that beautiful mustard. I got that one, and that one, and that one. Those are all mustards. Then my collards. Some more kale. This is red Russian. And another fun thing. Look at these petunias. Yeah, those are very hard to grow here. So the fact that I actually got them grow, I was really excited. And look at my peas. Aren't those awesome? Okay, we're gonna look at some more carrots. These are purple dragon carrots. Just starting to come alive. This is a new crop for me this year. Chicory. I'm so excited about that. Chicory is a coffee substitute plus a whole bunch of other things. I'm so excited that chicory's growing. Look at my chamomile in the jugs. Isn't that awesome? Lots of chamomile. I love chamomile because it's so dainty. It's really delicate looking. I have some borages growing. Some have not sprouted quite yet, but that's okay. There's still a lot of time for them to, to grow. These are goji berries. So excited that I got some there. This is oregano. Look at all those baby sprouts in there. And rosemary. I don't know if I can show them to you or not. Let's see. I'll try. I don't know if you can see the baby sprouts in there. But rosemary and lavender can be very, 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 very finicky to try to grow. Um, so rosemary is growing this year. And let me show you my lavender. Look at all those seedlings. Look at all of them. <laughs> yeah. Talk about blessings. I have tried growing lavender and rosemary for four years now. Four years. And I've done it the same way every year, planting them in these little jugs. This year, the Lord has blessed me with lavender and rosemary seedlings. Yay, I'm so excited. <laughs> My blue bachelor buttons. Say that three times fast. <laughs> Beautiful seedlings in there. And then my narrow spinach. Got some going on. I know I have some calendula spots over here, but trying to find them is a pain in the butt sometimes. Because some things, even though they're the same crop, they have not sprouted yet for because their seeds just don't feel like it's time. And here I'll take the lid off so you can see. Snapdragons. Beautiful flowers. And I grew these from my own seeds I saved last year. Another new crop, safflower. Look at all those seedlings in there. This is called the poor man's saffron. And it's supposed to be really, really, really gorgeous. So I think I have one more over here. Trying to remember which one it was. Oh yes, my gay flower. I don't know if you can see that seedling in there. So yeah. So things are really starting to take off. I'm seeing lots of life, lots of hope, lots of blessings. And so I just wanted to share them with you on this beautiful, beautiful Sabbath day. It's so gorgeous. Everything's so full of life. The birds are singing. We have turkeys out back there somewhere. They're the wild turkeys. 
we'll hear the hens calling and we have a tom who's around here somewhere and uh, we'll hear them calling back and forth because right now I think is uh, mating season if I remember right so you'll hear the hens calling and then the rooster calling we got the spring peepers I don't know if you can hear them over the wind but we got spring peepers um, we have uh, sandhill cranes there's a pond over there where that equipment is there's a pond dug in and the sandhill cranes live over there or all across the road um, we have some geese we have a bald eagle I haven't seen the bald eagle personally um, in a couple months but sometimes I'm just not out at the right time he lives over yonder somewhere but he's a juvenile he just graduated from uh, parenting 101 last year I guess you could say so this is his first year out alone or her we're not sure you know what the gender is but we are just so blessed we have seen uh, deer in this pasture this year we've lived here four years almost five it'll be five in autumn um, and the deer have never been in this pasture you know we'll see them in the other fields and the other pastures but um, this year they've been right out here uh, right by the dead elm tree over there um, so just a lot of blessings this year things that have never happened so exciting and I just wanted to, to share that with you um, another thing that's exciting maybe some people don't care but I do is our little one right here this is smoke bomb and like I said she just uh, had her surgery uh, last week to get her spayed so she's not going to be like her mother and produce lots of babies we lost her mother last year because uh, she ended up dying somewhere uh, but anyways we wanted to make sure the same thing wasn't going to happen anymore we got um, all the kittens from that litter fixed she was the last one and she's also very special because she was the runt of the litter I really had to put a lot of time and energy into making sure that uh, she made it because uh, as a runt their immune system is really poor um, and uh, so she gets sick a lot um, but we had another cat that we adopted he was sick all the time too and until I think it was year two is finally when they have their more adult immune system and uh, um, they get over their colds better but anyways yeah smoke bomb uh, she's really really tiny she's barely five pounds but uh, um, we've done a lot to keep her going and she's so full of love and life and I'm just so thankful the Lord blessed her with us um, and that uh, he gave me the ability to to help her grow up she'll be a year old in just a couple weeks so yeah another blessing from down on the farm so I just thank you so much for watching everybody I hope that my channel my videos are a blessing to you um, I just w want to try so hard to share the knowledge and the things that the Lord has blessed me with with you guys so that you can be blessed in your journeys as well so this is Jen from Garden Jen Journey hoping that y'all are having a great day bye now